Tell me here, I guess, how's the squad coming along at the moment? Yeah, look, we've progressed. Uh, we've been 10 weeks in a pre-season now. It's been hard work, um, but the boys are coming together and really excited for the start of the comp in a couple of weeks' time. And obviously, in your signing, I guess, what does he bring to the side? Oh, look, he's just so hungry and, and such a top pro. Uh, someone who who's obviously been in Melbourne the last seven or eight months and had the competition in the MPL there, they're terminated and, and to be in lockdown, have to leave lockdown and, and take yourself to Darwin to quarantine for two weeks just so you can train and get fit and to come in on trial just showed just showed his level of determination and hunger to try and get an A-League spot and, and it's exactly the kind of characters we want in our team and, and, and he's been a real pleasure and, and he'll be he'll be a real great addition to our team. What do you think that experience brings, you know, he's only young himself, but you know, it brings to the other players in the school? Oh, look, good qualities, you know, exude across the whole squad and, and that's exactly the kind of thing that we want. You know, having Oliver around has really added a lot to the leadership of the group and now someone like Stefan, who's young but yet experienced, being at obviously Victory and, and Brisbane Roar in his time, you can just see the difference in the level of professionalism they bring bring to their bring to their game and to their training. So, yeah, he's, as I said, he's been a great addition to our team. Countdown's on to the New Year's Eve derby. I guess you've got a... Um match tomorrow and then there's the, the carols match as well um, yeah. on the 20th I guess you know what's the plan maybe coming up to the derby yeah we've had six or seven friendlies already and another couple just to tidy up all, all the elements we want to improve on um, you know always adding different players in at different weeks there's always different things to try and, and still trying to build that chemistry in and amongst the squad as well so look every game's just another learning process another building block for, for that New Year's Eve game No, we're still waiting on visa clearances and immigration on that. So, look, until that's all clear, we can't really announce anything else. How's that process? Is it obviously, it's obviously more difficult, but, you know, there's obviously different things to allow. Yeah, look, it's obviously difficult uh, bringing, bringing people into Australia at the moment. There's so many Australian citizens who can't get back home, let alone bringing in people for work and, and bringing in their families as well. So, you know, entry permits and visas and all that, let alone quarantine of 14 days as well, just makes it extra extra level of difficulty for all the clubs, I guess, bringing, bringing in foreign imports. How do you think that's going to affect the level of competition this Yeah, look, it'll affect the league, but I've noticed that most of the clubs have got their visa players in already. Um, there might be some delay in some players coming in, like ours, um, and, you know, that'll obviously have an impact on each team, uh, depending upon when they come in and their level of fitness when they come in. But, but for the most part, I think there's been some really quality signings across the league and, you know, I don't think it'll have an impact at all. I think the league will be strong again and despite the exodus of players to India and the couple that went to Greece, I think the league's going to be very strong. Good feeling around the club. Um, how, how's the feeling this year, like heading into the season compared to, say, the last, the last year? I think the biggest difference is just stability uh, and having a good foundation to build on. Uh, the club's been fairly unstable over the last few years and just having stability and, and a core group of players who have remained and, and you've just got something to build on where, rather than rebuilding everything from scratch all the time. So, you know, from coaching staff to players, we, we've just built on the platforms, especially post-COVID uh, that we built where we showed we can be competitive and, and picked up, you know, quite a number of points and, and we're competitive in every match in that period. And, you know, it's given us a lot of belief that if we keep improving, we can certainly push for that final spot that we want to get this year. Your second pre-season with the club, how, how have you found the difference of not having sort of those different pay-cut matches and only having sort of friendly games? Oh, look, it's been OK for us having having the friendly games that we've had. We're lucky that, that we've been able to get so many um, A-League friendly matches, but... You know, the FFA Cup for me was an integral part of our competition and and the link between A-League and MPL, which is which is critical for, for the growth of the sport. So, you know, the sooner we get that cup competition back in back into the environment, the better it will be for everyone.